welcome to my channel this is top deck king thank you for tuning in and supporting me today we have a jund werewolf package deck um the black is a splash for uh infernal grass so we have uh instant speed removal against them otherwise it's basically a uh goal i mean gruel deck gruel wolves or whatever so i'm gonna test it out see if the black is really needed in the deck or not if not i'm going to go ahead and change the deck to see what happens but but let's go ahead and get into the deck real quick deck tech and describe all the cards i guess and see what we do so like i said infernal grasp is there for the instant speed removal being able to kill any creature is very solid and so that's what the black is for as well as the black could be played for red or green here technically so and then two death caps just to be safe three ranger class um i feel like maybe this might be better at four but three is a very solid card, a number anyways especially since the token that's being generated is a wolf and we're in a wolf deck so we want that we'll see we'll see if three is necessary for pack later obviously a very solid card um this being a three color deck i might trim this down to three and bring the ranger class back up to four because it's a double green, double green could be a challenge to cast on turn two. We'll see. We'll play it and see what happens. Otherwise, this is one of the best wolves for turn two for sure. Because it draws you cards later in the road. Um, it could become a 5-3 with trample. So naturalist is just there for the ramp package. Cast it on turn two. Play land turn three attack. Cast it four mana. Play Arlen. Maybe chariot, piper, stuff like that. Shadow Skull Smashing is basically a land, but sometimes you use it as a removal spell. There's three copies of that, so that way we have removal slash lands. Uh, Reckless Storm Seeker. Give my haste, give haste to some of my creatures. Um, very solid, very solid card. And then on the transform side, it gives it trample and haste. So we got three copies of that. Because we can give haste to, for example, you cast this turn, pack later turn two. You cast Reckless Storm Seeker turn three. Now you get to attack with both because you give Seeker haste. Now it's a three, three, and three, three. Attack for six, draw a card. Um, it gives, you know, all these other creatures, Tolliver haste. You can give uh, Huntmaster haste. Uh, especially if it's on transform it creates some wolf so we'll see cemetery prowler i'm giving this a try this is one of the new wolves in the, the format or not in the format the new set i could start making cards cheaper remove creatures remove instant sorceries stuff like that we're playing a wolf deck might as well be playing this guy this draws you cards for every time a wolf deals damage so one celestus this helps me transform day to night night to day at will as well as transform i mean uh ramping and getting rid of useless cards giving me any color mana so <laughs> two chariots create tokens um uh, the only bad thing is the tokens are not wolves so i don't know if it's necessary but since i'm able to create other tokens i have tokens here i have uh, tokens with ranger class um i have tokens here uh, that's the reason why I'm playing it because then it can start copying the tokens. Piper, Piper, Piper. This is going to be a good card against control. Uh, not really against aggro decks because of the four mana two two, and then this probably going to just die. But if it doesn't, obviously you get to use the effect, put a six drop in play, and then untap it, use it again, possibly put another six drop in play. So we'll see what happens here with this. Our land, we're a wolf deck. Let's create some wolves. Um, this is one of those cards that I see people testing out now just for the fact that it has some mana's haste. It can kill a lot of white creatures because it does one damage, and then if it's transformed, it basically almost kills like a lot of their, except for what is it? Uh, Adlin because it's a four toughness but other than that it can kill every other white creature I guess so we'll see what happens with this guy and then one uh caretaker and one hunt master as their top curve well I feel like it might and then nothing really special about the lands I feel this deck might be better as a gruel deck but I want to try out the black splash to see how infernal grass goes so we're gonna go give this deck a try on the ladder see how we do don't forget to check the description of the video it has the portable deck list for you as well as my other social media stuff twitch twitter discord stuff like that feel free to join any of those to watch me and stuff like that but let's go ahead and don't forget to subscribe and hit that thumbs up let's go and play some 
arena and see what we could do with Jun. Okay, Matthias. Matthias? Matthias. I get to go first. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll keep. So, play this, play this on green, play Ranger class. So, put this on green, cast Ranger class, and then you're up. Looks like we're playing up against another control. It looks like we're playing against control, right? Esper control? Esper control. So, put this on green. Let's cast the wolf. Combat. Attack. I'm assuming they're going to kill pack leader. Pack leader. Oh my gosh. Come on, opponent. Just kill it already. There you go. There you go. It's me. Go now. So put this on red. They're a control deck. We don't need the black against them. Oh my gosh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't stop. Don't stop. Then get it on. Ugh. Redain. Are you kidding me? Well, now I may need the black. So I could kill it. Because I can't cast anything in here in my hand anyway, so. Alright. Uh, upgrade. Combat. Attack. Put the counter. Um, I guess we're going to kill it regardless, so let's just kill it. Redain. Interesting. Well, now I don't have double red for this, though. But I had to do that to get rid of the Redain. Sure. Does this guy have first strike? No, it has vigilance. It has il vigilante. Vigilante. So combat attack. Four four. Combat. Let's cast Arlin. What the heck? Really? Oh my gosh! Come on. Consecrated defense. Ugh. That sucked. That was very, 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 very unfortunate. I guess there's nothing I could do about that though. Esper party, I guess. Huh, interesting. Create a 1 1 goblin. Sure. I can cast this and kill it, I guess. What do you got? What else can you do? What else can you do? Oh, consecrated defense. So, what does it do again? Plus one additional for each creature in your party. It's combat. Attack. Put a counter. I think I'm going to do Arlen this turn. In case they have another consecrated defense. I can pay the one mana to counter consecrated defense. Yep. Chump block. You got it. All right. Matthias. Let's cast Arlen. This plays around Consecrated Defense. In the following turn, I guess we'll just do this guy. There you go. Let's create the wolves. Oh my gosh, hurry up, opponent. He is fading. Oh, Vanishing Verse. Okay. I'm like, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see what their dungeon they chose. 1-1 one, one counter on target creature. Each opponent loses one life. Okay. So those are the two modes. So you can become a 4-4. Four, four. That doesn't matter. Ooh, he can kill my Arlen. Sure. This only has Vigilance. That's fine. I have another Arlen in my hand anyways. I have another Arlen in my hand. Uh, oof. Oof. I think I cast this, though. 
combat, target creature, target player, uh, submit zero, put a one one counter. We could put it on this guy. It's fine. So if he blocks, he has to block five, eight, or just, I guess, concede the game. All right, then. Alrighty, let's go play some Jun Wolves. Best. Oh, found an opponent really quick. Ideal draws curve out. Yes, they do. Rickety Rick. Rickety Rick. Rickety Rick. I get to go first. I guess I'll keep. That's kind of unfortunate, but um, I could play one of those and keep this as a removal spell, but that's fine. Blight steps. We need double green. This is going to hopefully give me green. Got to put this one on green. Hopefully it doesn't die. We'll see. Rickety. Ooh, evolving wilds. Are we playing against a mill deck? If they play get a blue land, it's probably new. What the heck is this? All right, rickety rick. So put that on green, cast the naturalist. If it transforms, even better. Good old, but they have black, so that means they're probably going to kill it. But luckily we drew this, so we can still kill. Um, this might be too much in terms of black mana that I have. So I may have to change the mana slightly. I mean, I could have just been unfortunate draw where I drew the, you know, the four blight step. The four blight steps that I play, I drew two of them. Why does all their lands look so weird? Look. It's interesting. Well, we drew that anyways. All right. Well, we're going to cast this because that could get... Give it haste. Attack for three. Why is there lands having the borders behind them, huh? This is weird. Rickety Rick. Do, do, do. Okay, that one it didn't have the border. Interesting. They have another kill spell. What the? Exile target. Look, see, look. It's weird, huh? Um, So put this on black. Cast the wolf. Man, they have so much removal in the hand. Exile target tapped creature. I guess they're playing black-white control. It's not good. What the heck is this? If you haven't completed Tome, it says when it enters the battlefield, if you haven't completed, return and venture in the dungeon. Whenever tax, alrighty then. I guess we'll kill it so that way it doesn't return back to their hand. And venture into the dungeon. I hope that's how it works. If it returns it back from the graveyard, then whoops. <laughs> like, whoopsie daisy. All right, and then we're going to upgrade Ranger class, attack for the wolf for four. Hey, mine are doing it too now. Look, there's this like white border and then black on this side. Weird. Least Spellbinder got nothing. Haha, <laughs> I got nothing. So we only need one black. So I'm going to put this on red. I can swing with both. Draw a card and then cast this afterwards. Let's put it on. Um, I guess we'll diversify the threats. We'll diversify them. I hope he doesn't have like a random pump spell. That'd be unfortunate. Destroy target attacking creature. Ah, uh, okay. They couldn't do it until I declared attack. Got it. Get it, get it. Ooh. A block Arenos. Um, play Arlen. Play the can be countered. Who cares? Let's play Arlen. Let's create some wolves. Wolfie packs. Just keep putting threats. Threat after threat. Ooh. Ooh. So, other permanents you control have hexproof at the beginning of combat in your turn. Put two in one. Could you control? Okay. Cards have hexproof now. Good game. Good game. Right, let's do some Jund Wolves. Jundarinos. Jundarinos. I want to try the new, some of the new wolves and stuff like that. I wonder if it's better if I should PWB, if I should be ramping with the wolf deck. 
I go first. I guess I can keep because I can cast. What is that? So only two cards I can't play against them. So play that. Do I want this on red or do I want this on green? Shamblow Gast. Il Shamblow. Well, there's green. I guess we put this on red. And then, hmm. I mean, I'm pretty sure they play something. But this helps me turn three Arlen. So we'll play that. I could have played Ranger class, obviously. But this is a turn three. Ooh, they didn't play a card. This is a turn three Arlen now if I want to do it. Uh, whatever, green. Sure. Are you going to... Because you can't kill it, so I'm assuming you're carrying a treasure. And then we'll cast this, I guess. Because it'll be it'll be on the transform side. Triggers. Um interesting. I guess we'll grab Tolliver. Because I've got two wolves in play that helps me draw cards. Helps me draw cards. So one, two, three, four. We can go up to five mana, cast this, cast Ranger class. I'm not really sure what an opponent can play here. They can kill this, that's fine. Borrow time. All right. All right. So let's put this on green. Oh, uh, so if I play Ranger class, nope, I have to play this first and then play that second. Yep, don't be dumb. All right, combat attacks. So I could draw a card here. Let's add green. I draw a card. And then I play Ranger class. I was about to make a misplay. Because I was about to play Ranger class first, and then I wouldn't have drew a card because... I didn't have enough mana to cast the creature then. Good game, opponent. John Werewolves. Not really sure how good Werewolves is in the current meta, but we're going to give it a try. We're going to give it a try and see what we can do. I get to go first. Um. All right, I guess I'll keep because I have Ranger class. So play this turn one. Hopefully I draw another untapped land, but... Okay, I don't know what that is. Is that the black white one? I think that's the black white one, right? Yeah, it's the black white one. We're playing against. Nope. Okay, we're playing against Esper. Esperino. Um. Hmm. So if I put this on. Draw a card. Okay. So that's red. So I put this on green. And we'll cast this dude. Since this is a wolf, we get to draw a card here. Wolf, draw a card. And then we have, you'll cast an Arlen, Esper, wow, Doomscar. That was pretty good. And that was a pretty darn good. Pay three life, let's cast Arlen. Let's go ahead and create some wolves. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let's see if we could beat Esper. Esperino. Ooh, memories. Memory. They don't want it to transform. I mean, not letting it transform is actually going to be better for me. Because now. Why is it two? Interesting. Hmm. Uh, I think I want to do is maybe flash this in. Good. I could also just play it. Hmm. Problem was if I do this, cost one less. I can remove my creature. I can remove their memory at instant speed, anyways. Upgrade. Cast this, put more pressure on. All right, let's attack. Um, go ahead. Let's see what we could do. Play this, it becomes a four five. Maybe remove a creature so that way then this costs two mana. 
Yeah, we could do that. We can do that. If they play a Doom score, it won't matter because then they destroy my two twos. And then I flash this in. I play this as a five five. I swing for four nine. 10, 11, 12 damage. They're almost dead. I can upgrade this, make it 13 damage. Like basically just about dead. They're at 14. I don't know what they got. What you got? What you got? Are they highlighting my graveyard? Righteous batch. What are they doing? Okay. Let's try flashing this in then. You got a counter spell? What do you got? Why? I don't know why it's two though. Why is it two? Does it come with two plus one one counters on it? Um, like I said, I could remove my own creature. That way, my storm guy costs two mana now. Okay, so... I could also cast this, and then all my creatures have Indestruct or Hexproof. And they also, at the beginning of combat, so 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Nah. Nah. We're going to go balls to the walls. We're just going to go all out here. Just put massive pressure on. Dissipate. You got it. You get it. Upgrade. Combat. Attack. Um, I guess we'll put it on this because it's indestructible. Remove memory. Game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good game. John to John 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 to John John Wolf Wolfies waiting for your opponent. Waiting what is your name? Jiffy 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 Jaifu Jaifu Um Hmm Alright, I'm gonna try it. If I was on the play, I would ugh it's is it blue? Jaifu, you're playing Is It Churns? No, nope. blue black control. Well, my hand is so bad against blue black control. Ooh, they missed their land drop. They missed their land drop. Nice. Kill my, but they're going to kill it. Yep. Kill, power word, kill. It's a play chariot. All right, um, put this on black. You can play this, it can't be countered, but they probably just have um, divide by zero. Il divido by zito. Oh, wash away. Okay, wash away, wash away. Put this one on red. I only need one black. This guy can't be countered opponent. Now you have your divide by zero, I bet. Oh, it's transformed. I get to get the value from it. Uh, I guess we'll grab you. Put this on red. Go ahead. Whenever it enters the battlefield. I mean, it's pretty good against control decks not being able to be countered, but, and, you know. Um, it's not legendary either, so that's pretty nifty. Nifty, nifty. So, huh. Combat. Attack. I'm feeling like I want to play maybe, let's see. It's not legendary. So let's try this again. Oh, I only have four mana. Whoops. Whoops a daisy. Whoops a daisy. Okay. Well, we have a two turn clock against them. A two turn clockerino. 
I bet you they have a bunch of washaways in their hand, I guess. They're like, no, I can't counter their cards. What shall I do? What shall I do? <laughs> Hole breaker. Hall breaker. So if I play this, they counter that. Then I can play this. So I do want to ramp though. Um All right, let's see what if they counter this. If they don't counter this, we can play a storm seeker, but I feel like they would counter this cuz so far they haven't countered anything else. Interesting. Interesting, my friend. All right, we'll counter it. We'll play storm seeker then. Storm seeker, there it is. There's the counter spell. <laughs> combat and then transforms take action we don't need infernal grasp i think so we could discard that now we could transform it at will so if he doesn't have a removal spell this is lethal oh i guess he didn't <laughs> never mind uh we'll grab you and we'll grab you that card is a lot better than i thought Hey everyone, welcome back to the final analysis part of the video. So the deck seemed pretty interesting um, as far as how competitive it is. I don't think it is too competitive. I only had, I played a total of, I think it was like 11 or 12 matches, something around there, um, maybe 10, something between 10 and 12. And I had something around like a 52% win rate with the deck. So it's not a solid deck. I got this list from this past weekend, um, Red Bull, um, MTG Melee, Red Bull, whatever. And the deck went 5-0. So I figured it might be pretty decent, but I just think it's inconsistent playing three colors. You know, I think if you play Gruel Werewolves, I think you'd be a whole lot better. And you should go into a package where you should ramp as well as have the Piper to play some of these big cards into play faster. So everything in the deck seemed very solid, especially Piper was very good. And the Prowler did actually pretty good. Uh, I don't I didn't like the Chariot, but the Prowler was pretty good. Um, it was able to cast my creatures for cheaper. I mean, don't get me wrong, Cherry is a great card, but for this deck, I don't think it falls in the right category. Yeah, we get to generate a lot of uh, tokens here, but I would probably just make this Gruel, cut the Chariots, cut the Inferno Grass. We can add Red Removal if we need, and maybe bring up Prowler and bring up some of these higher cost cards like Huntmaster and Caretaker. Because they, when, when I played those two creatures, they were doing a lot of work, but then... Obviously, I'm only playing one and one, but overall, my final analysis to the deck, like I said, I think it is more of a fun deck. It's a tribal deck. I don't think it's a competitive deck, especially since I only had like a 51, 52% win rate with the deck. Uh, granted, it's mythic. It might be a little better in the lower ranks, platinum, diamond, you know, gold, stuff like that. But in the mythic rank, 51, 52% win rate, unless you play a ton of games, that's not going to get you anywhere. So have fun with the deck. Let me know what you guys think. Maybe you guys have a Gruul version of this or a different Jun version of this that's better. Drop some comments down below. Let me know what you guys think of the deck. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, thumbs up button. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.